Today's video is a review of the Aster Hori 85F 2.8 macro lens. Now it's a 1 to 1 macro and this lens is heavy. Although I'm throwing it about like that, this lens is heavy and solid. So for the price that you're getting it for, which I'll put on screen, you're getting a really, really decent bit of kit for that. Now macro isn't my thing, but when they sent this through, uh, I actually really wanted to try it. I wanted to see just the, the dark nights coming in and everything and just wanted to see what it was like. And I've actually really, really enjoyed using this lens. This is a heavy lens weighing a 720 grams and you do notice the weight of it considering it's relatively compact size. It's 110 mil long and full metal construction. Focusing in aperture rings are heavily dampened, but just to the point where they don't resist when you move them, yet don't move once you've reached focus. Absolutely perfect for macro. All the markings are clearly inscribed in the lens and the knurling feels right for the focusing in aperture rings with a good friction. The tilt and lock angle buttons again are dampened enough, but not to release or be bumped out. And although it doesn't have a lock back to the centre point, due to the constructions and markings, you can reset it back extremely easily. I wouldn't use it for portraits, although the website does say, simply because of the weight. And it's been a really, really good lens to use. I've had fun with this. I have, the images coming up are simply images to show you how sharp it is. Now you've got to remember as well that these images are downsized to 2000 pixels long edge so you're not going to see the actual quality of it but even for something that's resized they look fairly decent uh, for that so it's a tilt lens uh, if I unlock this here it is actually a tilt lens it's not a tilt shift lens but what this allows for is for some creative photography and it resets back in the middle you just hold it down and you walk it there. I don't know if you can see that, but you walk it there and you've also got your degrees on there as well. Well, it's not really degrees, it's just markers. The field of focus with the lens is really, really narrow. And as you can see here by this demonstration, you would be lucky if I moved the focusing ring just over a centimetre for this entire shot. And as you can see, it worked really, really well. And this is why it's a great macro lens because you'll be able to stack your images at its focus points you can see how sharp the lens is fully manual lens so no exif data but considering what you're going to be doing with it uh, it's doesn't it's negligible that it really is negligible I'll see if I can show you the aperture ring which is found at the end of it. So if I do that, I'll try and get it in focus. I don't know even if that's in focus, but you can see the aperture ring there. And again, that is nicely dampened. So it's a really good lens. I've really enjoyed using this and images coming up from it. I tried some focus stacking with it and I was really enamoured with the results I got from the lens itself. It's a manual focus lens and so at f2.8 and f5.6 with this series of images, it was just to let you see how the lens works. I found the sweet spot to be between f4 and f8 though, as you can see with this image here. Macro is not something that I normally do, so it's actually fun to shoot with this. The depth of field and focus is really shallow, and at 100% zoom, it's really good quality. The tilt and rotation in this allows you to see how much it actually moves shot from a static tripod, and this could be really, really useful for some creative imagery. Hopefully you get something from that and hopefully it'll just let you see what the lens can actually do. Now in the right hands this lens could do so much more but I'm at the beginning of my journey in macro so I'll see what I can get from it in due course. The lens, as I say, I'll put the price on screen and thank you to Astor Hori if that's how you say it 
for sending me that lens through. I've really enjoyed this and I'm going to enjoy using it in the future as well. I've got a few things planned for it. Recording this video on the 28th of December and I'm looking forward to 2023 and I hope you are too. Thank you. This year for me for videos has been rather quiet this year for videos for different reasons but with 2023 coming up I've got a lot of plans ahead with to do with the Fuji which I'm filming on just now uh, to also with the Nikon also some editing videos and some more review videos I've got quite a few review videos coming up so hopefully they'll be worth something to you I'm looking at different lenses and different software as well hopefully you will enjoy them and I'd like to wish you all the best for 2023. Thanks for watching the channel and thanks for your support of the channel. And I'll see you next year in the next video.